welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today I am making a beachy summer inspired soap. I got this fragrance from Bee Scented. It's called Hawaiian Tropic. They have a sale going on. It smells fantastic. Said this, it doesn't cause any issues in soap. I've never soaked with this before, but it says it doesn't cause rising, acceleration, separation. Looking forward to that because what I have in mind for this beachy summer soap is I want to do a sandy beach theme. So a couple of things for my sand. I love this pro tip. I use ground sage to make a sand color. It really makes a beautiful sandy looking beach color. The sage. I love it. Anyway, that's going to be my sand portion. And then in the sky over the beach, I'm going to use my round molds here to do sunshine embeds. So I want it to be a sunny day at the beach with this Hawaiian tropic scent. It's very cologne smelling, but it's really good. It doesn't smell like suntan lotion, which which was cool. I, when I got it, I thought it was going to smell like, you know, typical suntan lotion. It doesn't. It's really good. So anyway, I've got to get everything pulled together and makes the soap for my embeds. I will be doing cold process embeds and then uh, we'll get everything ready to go and make a beach summery inspired soap. All right, we are back and it has been several days because uh, I had to make these cold process embeds and I will share the recipe that I used for this one pound batch that got me three canes of sunshine embeds and two soap flowers here. Um, and I will share that recipe down below in the description box. It's just a great all purpose recipe and it's a small batch. And so this is what I got for my one pound batch. So I'm going to get these unmolded. These are my little sunshines. And where did I set it? Here it is. Um, I used yellow vibrance, just a little. I didn't use a lot. Um, to color these and I did sort of it in the pot swirl so you're not going to see a lot here on the outside but hopefully when we cut the bars it'll have a little dimension so I'm just going to trim off these little excess bits here um, but there are my little sunshines they're just a beautiful pale kind of sunny yellow I love it and now I need to get these all unmolded and measure them down to fit into my mold and then we will get the oils out and get the other part of the soap made but here are the little uh, sunshine embeds so i'm going to get these all trimmed up and we will be back all right we are back and i'm going to talk about the color scheme for this beach day sort of inspired soap um, i'm thinking of sunset colors and so i just googled uh, sunsets on the beach and I was looking at all the different beautiful hues and there's a lot of pinks and oranges just for inspiration so let me show you the colors that I pulled off my shelves for the water let's start there I have my azure blue mica which is a very aquatic blue and then I also have seafoam green so I'm going to do in the pot swirl with those to go on top of my sand color with the sage here that'll be my sand first layer then comes the water and then the sky and I'll pour half the sky throw my little sunshines down in there and then finish off the top of the sky so for the sky colors I'm going to leave a portion uncolored so there will be a little white mixed in and I might do a touch of TD in with the white just to keep it bright I'm not sure I might let it go natural but I wanted to do a little bit of sexy pink slippers and the name doesn't go with the theme at all but I think the color is fabulous along with a little of my uh, sunset orange from Be Scented so I'm gonna do it in the pot swirl for the sky so there'll be uncolored white portion with these two colors mixed in and then my little sunshines drop down in there. And um, so this is gonna be sort of a, I'm not trying to do a realistic sunset. This is gonna look more to me, I'm imagining like a painting. This is my interpretation of a beach sunset. <laughs> That's what we're going for. So now what I have to do next is I'm going to take my oils and my lye water and split it into four equal portions um, so that I can do each layer at a time. The, when I made these little embeds, I did use the fragrance in here and they smell so good, but it, um, it moved. It wasn't fast. It didn't speed the trace, but I had to move to get these into the mold while it was still nice and pourable. And I just don't want to stress with um, having the layers that are waiting to get poured firm up on me. So I'm going to split the batch. And the way I do that is here are my oils we're going to put the additives in here in just a minute so we'll get all the additives in here i'll put the fragrance in here and then i'm going to split this oil into four equal portions 
Then I'll take my lye water that is fully prepared and I will split that into four equal portions. And so I will blend each portion as each for a layer. I hope that makes sense how I'm describing it. I've done this before and I've had people ask me, how do you split your batch? Well, that's how I do it. So I'm gonna take this and split it up and we will be back when we're ready to start with our first layer. All right, I overspoke. I have to get my additives in here first, then I'm gonna split this off. <laughs> so let's do that. I've got my kale and clay, my oats, and I'm gonna add coconut milk. This is a beachy theme soap and I just thought coconut milk sounded perfect. And so I will show you how I add coconut milk powder to the oils rather than um, a liquid coconut milk. When I do use coconut milk, I usually do the milk in oil method, which I absolutely love. But today we're gonna do the coconut milk powder and I'll be adding my scoop here, just same as the others, there it is. And it is a little chunky, so I'm gonna blend this really well so it's very smooth. I don't want any milk powder chunks in here. Let's get that in there. All right. The fragrance is in here. We're gonna get this blended up. Then I'm gonna split it into four equal parts. We are back with layer number one, which is our sage layer. And I just wanted to go up go over the splitting of my ingredients again. I use just a cheap calculator. I got this for like $1 at Walmart. I take my total oils and I find containers. All of my containers are the same weight so I can tear out my scale. I add up all my oils and additive weights and divide it by four and measure it out and I can double check. So the important thing about splitting your batch, I think is having containers that are the same weight so you can tear your scale out um, for each Thing. So anyway, I just use a cheap calculator. That's how I do it. I did the same thing with my lye. I had four exact little cups here. I added up my totals, split it, divided it by four, and that's what I've got. So it's one fourth of the oils, one fourth of the lye. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and mix my sage powder into my oils before I add the lye. And we'll get it blended up and get our little sandy beach layer poured. So. And this is just, I got this in the spice section. This is a food grade sage. It's just wonderful, but it makes the prettiest sand color. It's so pretty. Here's a baby spoon and I'm doing a heaping baby spoon. This is probably just shy of one teaspoon or close to one teaspoon for our sand. And I don't want to put much more and it will have very gently exfoliating, hardly any. It's not really an exfoliating additive, but it might have just a little bit of a exfoliation in there. So let's get that blended up and then uh, we'll get our lye in here and we'll just get to layering. I probably won't talk through each layer. I'm just going to do it. But anyway, let's get into this.
for the last sunrise sky um, or sunset. I don't know which, but anyway, I'm going to do both of these together. So I'm going to go ahead and combine these layers because I want the sky to be the majority of the soap. And that's very full. I might switch to a bigger container. So two fourths of this soap is going to be the sky. next day and I'm very anxious to get in here and see how the inside of this came out. I'm hoping my vision is in there and that it looks like an artist's rendition of a sunset or sunrise. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's only one way to find out and that we have to get in here and see what's going on the inside. back with the lovely Olga and it is the time of truth. I want you to look at how cute that sand color came out though for the beach. That sage is such a perfect sandy color I think. So whew, let's get in here and see what we've got going on. It's always fun a little anticipatory cutting in here and there we go. The sun shines were cold processed so it cut really nice. Oh fun. Look at that. Oh, I'm happy. And there's that pretty, I did a little bit of uncolored portion in the sun just to give it a little dimension. So cute. Love the colors of the water. Oh, I think these are delightful. These make me happy. Doesn't that make you wanna go sit on a sandy beach and get your toes in the sand? It's funny, I love the beach in winter. I'm a beach winter walker um, but hot summer beaches are kind of fun but I have kind of a low tolerance too for getting 
sand in your drinks and your food and in your swimsuit and <laughs> all of that. I remember having little kids in Southern California and we'd go to the beach and they had so much fun. But oh my word, the amount of sand. I felt like we were bringing half of the beach back in our car when we got back. No matter how many times I rinsed them off, somebody was, you know, crying because they had sand in their shorts and it was uncomfortable. And <laughs> beach, so I kind of prefer swimming pools, but I do love the beach. Oh man, that came out wrong. I do absolutely love the beach, but I like walking on the beach and stuff. Um, that's my preference. I don't know, am I the only one? Are you a beach lover? Do you like to sit on the sand and bake or do you like to walk on the beach? All right, next loaf. So yeah, three out of my four children were born in Southern California. Um, my husband was flying out of Miramar um, when he was an F-18 pilot and so that was really fun. But yeah, it was always kind of an event, getting your children to the beach and then coming home <laughs> was it was a, it was a big event I'll just say that well worth it though I'm glad we spent time at the beach I'm loving it and these I just think the colors are making me happy it's a little solid in here the pink and the orange are kind of muddied up a little but I think it's beautiful you know overall I'm really happy now I can see just a little bit of a shaded cast on the bottom so this sand color might darken just a touch probably not much but just something to note. I think it'll just add to the sandy color. Oh, I love how the little grooves came out that I textured the um, sand in the water. Well, these are making my day happy. I hope they make your day happy too. Coming into summer, this is a very summery soap. So how about you? Do you like to walk on the beach or sand? get all down in the sand, build sand castles, and just dig in and have the whole day there. Is that something that you love? I love the idea of it. That's true. I do love the idea of the beach. When we were stationed in Miramar, we lived in base housing, and there were two big swimming pools, so my kids took swimming lessons all summer long. So we were more at the pool than we were at the beach when we were in California. All right, last loaf. I'll tell you a funny story of my youth. Um, when I was young, my brothers went to see Jaws when it was released in the movie theaters and came home and talked about it. I was too young to see the movie, but just listening to them talk about the movie Jaws scared me so bad. And you have to remember, I'm landlocked in Wisconsin as a child. I'm growing up in Wisconsin. And I was absolutely convinced that my shower would turn into some James Bond thing and the walls would open up and Jaws would come in my shower in the middle of Wisconsin. Yes, I really, <laughs> I had to shower with like the shower curtain cracked open and I don't know why. It got in my head and to this day, anytime I get in the ocean, in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know what, Jaws knows I'm in the water and he's going to come and find me. <laughs> I know that's ridiculous and my son is a coast guard diver and he's like oh mom i see sharks all the time they don't want to bug you and i get it but you know that just i can't get over the fear i have of sharks and when i hear about like a shark attack or something it absolutely is like a nightmare thought for me i don't know why i'm going down that pipeline here with that story anyway <laughs> thank you for putting up with me and my rants I appreciate you taking the time to be with me today. This was a really fun soap to make. It is making me smile, making me happy. I hope it's giving you all the summer beach vibes. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so you don't miss anything going on in the soap studio. And I hope that you have a sunny, wonderful day.